Hello friends, today we'll discuss the important antifibrinolytic agent drug tranexamic acid. From this video, you'll know. What is tranexamic acid? Systemic effects of tranexamic acid. Complications and contraindications of tranexamic acid. Before going to the video, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click the button to get regular notifications. Now we'll get on to the video. Tranexamic acid is commonly referred to as TXA. It is a potent antifibrinolytic medication used primarily to control bleeding. First, we'll see the meaning of antifibrinolytic. Antifibrinolytic. Here, anti means against or opposite of. Fibro refers to fibrin, which is a protein that forms blood clots. And the suffix lytic means breaking down. So, antifibrinolytic literally means against the breakdown of fibrin. Coming to its structure, it belongs to the class of synthetic lysine analogs. This class of synthetic lysine analogs refers to a group of artificially created compounds that mimic the structure and function of amino acid lysine, which is used to inhibit blood clot breakdown. Mechanism of Action the primary mechanism of tranexamic involves its ability to inhibit fibrinolysis. Let's see how it happens. Let's imagine you have some injury. Blood clotting. Injury occurs, and blood vessel is damaged. Then we'll have bleeding from the injured site. To stop this, platelets aggregate to form a platelet plug. Then, the coagulation cascade is activated, converting fibrinogen into fibrin. This fibrin forms a meshwork, creating a blood clot. After a certain time, fibrinolysis occurs. This is done by a tissue plasminogen activator, TPA, which is released from the endothelium or other cells. This TPA converts plasminogen into plasmin. Plasminogen is bound to fibrin, allowing plasmin to be generated near the clot. Plasmin breaks down fibrin into smaller fragments. Finally, clot is dissolved and blood flow is restored. This is how normal blood coagulation and fibrinolysis occur. Now let's see how tranexamic acid acts. This tranexamic acid binds to plasminogen, preventing its conversion to plasmin. So, plasmin is unable to break down fibrin, stabilizing the clot. It inhibits clot dissolution and reduces bleeding. Pharmacokinetics. Upon administration, tranexamic acid is rapidly absorbed and distributed throughout the body. It undergoes minimal metabolism in the liver and is excreted largely unchanged in the urine. The half-life of tranexamic acid is approximately two to three hours. Dosage. The usual dosage of tranexamic acid in. The oral route is about 15 mg to 25 mg per kilo for every eight to 12 hours. And in intravenously, it's about 10 to 20 mg per kilo every eight, 12 hours. Systemic effects of tranexamic acid, antifibrinolytic effect. By inhibiting plasminogen activator, tranexamic acid reduces fibrinolysis and promotes clot stability. Coagulation enhancement, tranexamic acid increases fibrinogen levels by reducing fibrinolysis, allowing for more fibrin to be formed and enhancing clot stability. This also leads to increased thrombin formation, further enhancing coagulation, hypertension increasing vascular resistance, Tranexamic acid constricts blood vessels, increasing resistance to blood flow. The second one by increasing cardiac output. Tranexamic acid may increase heart rate and contractility, leading to increased cardiac output. Renal impairment. Tranexamic acid reduces renal blood flow and glomerular filtration rate by constricting renal blood vessels, where tranexamic acid decreases blood flow to the kidneys and increasing blood pressure may reduce renal blood flow. Seizures. Tranexamic acid may cause seizures by inhibiting GABA receptors, which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter, leading to increased excitability. Nausea and vomiting. Tranexamic acid stimulates the chemoreceptor trigger zone in the brain, 
releasing neurotransmitters that initiate the vomiting reflex. Thrombocytopenia. Tranexamic acid may cause thrombocytopenia by increasing platelet aggregation, reducing platelet production, which may affect bone marrow function. Muscle pain and weakness. Tranexamic acid may cause muscle pain and weakness by inhibiting muscle protein synthesis and increasing muscle breakdown. Next, we'll jump into its clinical uses. It is widely employed in clinical practice. Controlling bleeding during surgeries, including cardiac, orthopedic, and trauma surgeries. Side effects and complications, tranexamic acid. Side effects are rare, but reported side effects are seizures, changes in color vision, blood clots, allergic reactions, anaphylaxis, and venous thromboembolism, which is a debated risk. Tranexamic acid may increase the risk of blood clots, but large studies have not shown a significant increase in venous or arterial thrombosis. So, no increased risk even in people with previous thrombosis history. Special considerations. TXA should be used cautiously in patients with a history of thromboembolic disorders or renal impairment. Dosing adjustments may be necessary for elderly patients and those with compromised kidney function to prevent accumulation and potential toxicity. Lastly, coming to contraindications. It is contraindicated to persons who are allergic to tranexamic acid and with a history of seizures, history of venous or arterial thromboembolism, or active thromboembolic disease. Severe kidney impairment patients 